Hello there. In this video, we'll demonstrate how to calculate single factor productivity while working backwards to determine the number of employees required and adjusting for demand. So here's the data for our problem. Marata operates a bakery and demand has increased by 25% in the last year. On many occasions, customers have not been able to purchase their bread of choice because of the size of the store, you can't add any new ovens. But at a staff meeting, an employee suggested different ways to load the ovens so that more loaves of bread could be baked at a time. The process will require that the ovens be loaded by hand, therefore requiring additional manpower, and that's the only thing to be changed. So if the bakery currently makes 1,500 loaves per month with a labor productivity of 2.344, how many workers will the company have to add? And the hint here is that each employee works 160 hours per month. So the first thing to do is determine how many employees there are loading bread into the oven. Well, we had a previous video where we did something similar to this, where we would take the single factor productivity to be equal to the number of outputs divided by the number of inputs. In this question, we're told our labor productivity is 2.344. So if we take 2.344 loaves per labor hour, that's going to be equal to 1,500 loaves per month and we're gonna divide that by 160 hours per month times some number of employees that we can call X. Working through this, 160X times 2.344 is equal to 1500. Therefore, X being the number of workers is 1500 divided by 375. That's what the answer to this is right here, 375. It's actually 0 0.04, but close enough. So that means X must be equal to four workers. Step two then is to determine how many workers we need if they make the change and can increase the number of loaves produced. Now the assumption that we need to make here as well, we must assume that the single factor productivity remains the same at 2.344 loaves per hour. So working through our equation then, 2.344 is going to be equal to 1500 times 1 1.25 this reflects the 25 this reflects the 25 percent increase in demand that can be met with the change in how the loaves are loaded into the oven of course we go ahead and divide that by 160x because that doesn't change which means that 375x is equal to 1875 loaves where x is now equal to 18 75 divided by 375 and that is five workers well there we have it currently there are four workers if they go ahead with the modification to how the ovens are loaded they will need a total of five workers so the company will need one more worker and that's it so again what we did here is determine the current number of employees necessary to produce 1,500 loaves per month, and then based on a recommended change to how the ovens are loaded to increase the amount of loaves produced from 1,500 to 1,875, the company needs one additional worker. 